A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens Stave 5, The End of It Scrooge was alone in his room, and yes, his room. The bedpost was his own, the bed was his own, the room was his own, and best and happiest of all, the time before him was his own, to make amends in. My bed curtains are not torn down. They're not torn down, rings and all, they are here. I am here. The shadows of the things that would have been may be dispelled. They will be, I know they will. I will live in the past, the present and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. Oh, Jacob Marley, heaven and the Christmas times be praised for this. I said on my knees, oh, Jacob, on my knees. I don't know what to do. I'm as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. I'm as merry as a schoolboy. I'm as giddy as a drunken man. A Merry Christmas to everybody. A, a Happy New Year to all the world. Hello. <laughs> oh, I don't know what day of the month it is. I don't know how long I've been amongst the spirits. I don't know anything. I'm quite a baby. <laughs> Never mind. I don't care. I'd rather be a baby. Hello. Oh, 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 hmm. Ah, uh, um. Oh, glorious, glorious. What today? Hello. What today, my fine fellow? Today? Why? It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. They can do anything they like. Of course they can. Of course they can. Ah, hello, my fine fellow. Hello. Do you know where the poultry is in the next street but one at the corner? I should hope I did. Ah, an intelligent boy. A remarkable boy. Uh, uh, do you know whether they've sold the prized turkey that was hanging up there? Not the little prized turkey. The, the big one. What? The one as big as me? What a delightful boy. It is a pleasure to talk to him. Yes, my buck. He's hanging there now. Is it? Go and buy it. You're having a laugh. No, 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 no. I am in earnest. Look, I'm... Yeah, go and buy it and tell them to bring it here that I may give them the direction where to take it. Uh, come back with the man and I'll give you a shilling. Uh, come back with him in less than five minutes and I'll give you half a crown. Yes, sir. I'll send it to Bob Cratchit. <laughs> you shall not know. Who sends it? It's twice the size of Tiny Tim. There was never made such a joke as made sending it to Bob's will be. Ah, now into town. So much to do, so much to do. Uh, Hi, driver. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, right. Take me to this address. If you can get me there in half an hour, there's half a crown in it for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Is your master at home, my dear? Thank you, he knows me. Fred. It's I, your Uncle Scrooge. Why, bless my soul. I have come to dinner. Will, will you let me in? Uncle, you are always welcome. Come in, come in! Scrooge was early at the office next morning. If he could only be there first and catch Bob Cratchit coming in late, that was the thing he had set his heart upon. And he did it. Yes, he did. The clock struck nine. No Bob. A quarter past. No Bob. He was a full 18 minutes and a half behind his time. Scrooge sat with his door wide open that he might see him come through into his tank. Bob's hat was off before he opened the door. His comforter too. He was on his stool in a jiffy, driving away at his pen as if he were trying to overtake the nine o'clock. Mr. Cratchit! What do you mean by coming here this time of day? Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I am behind my time. You are? Yes. Step this way, sir, if you please. It's only once a year, sir. It shall not be repeated. I was making rather merry yesterday, sir. 
Now I tell you what, my friend, I'm not going to stand this sort of thing any longer, and therefore <sighs> I'm about to raise your salary. <laughs> oh, what? Thank you, sir. Thank you. A merry Christmas, Bob. A merry Christmas, Bob, my good fellow, then. I have given you for many a year. I'll raise your salary and endeavour to assist your struggling family and... And Tim. We will make Tim strong and healthy again. We will discuss your affairs this very afternoon. Over a Christmas bowl of smoking, Bishop? Bob. Make up the fires and buy another coal scuttle before you dot another eye, Bob Cratchit. Scrooge was better than his word. He did it all and infinitely more. And to Tiny Tim, who did not die, he was a second father. He became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as the old city knew. Some people laughed to see the alteration in him. But he let them laugh, for his own heart laughed too. And that was quite enough for him. It was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well. May that be truly said of us, and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. A Christmas Carol, adapted, directed, and produced by Paul A.T. Wilson. Narrator, Paul A.T. Wilson. Scrooge, Oliver Fry. Delightful Boy, Freddie Holm. Driver, Paul A.T. Wilson. Fred, Philip Barker. Bob Cratchit, Richard Heaven. And Tiny Tim, George Wilson. Music, David Pudney, sound design, Paul A.T. Wilson. Copyright 2021. This production is published under the International Creative Commons Attribution License Version 4.